What we're doing, we're working on the 2002 uh, Chevy Trailblazer. Gonna change the oil in it this time. Show you a few different Actually, ways. Actually, I'm only gonna show you one way of doing it. The only way to do it, and the only way you should do it. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's your boy, the Redneck Warrior, back at it again. What we're doing, we're working on the 2002 uh, Chevy Trailblazer. Gonna change the oil in it this time. Uh, before we get started, go ahead and take off your oil cap and get it off. The oil might drain a little better that way. And you have to start out by taking these uh, access panels off on the bottom, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, if you get underneath the trailblazer, you see this access panel right here? You're going to take off four bolts. One, two, three, and four. Those four bolts is all you need to take off. They're in each corner of the access panel. They are a 13 millimeter. So, good luck. All right, with the access panel off, you can now see... Uh, the oil drain bolt right here Take this little mother off right there. It is a 15 millimeter But when you take it off screw it out right at the very edge try to catch the bolt if you can And you if you can check on the end of the boat, you know if there's been any metal or anything in your car It'll definitely show on your boat. So these things are magnetic on the end So if there is anything in your vehicle. It will show up on your boat So just be careful when you do that you're probably going to do what I do and drop it in the oil and be like, damn it. But uh, if that happens, just go get ice cream because, I mean, you, you're probably just going to, it's going to ruin your day. Alright, before doing this, I do require you get you some blue gloves because if not, you're probably going to get oil all over your damn hands. And you're going to be like, why the hell did I wear blue gloves? Alright, we got the bolt out. Check the bolt, make sure it's all still good, ain't no metal or nothing on it. That little seal right there, make sure your seal's still good. You know, if not, obviously it's not going to seal back up. You're going to leak oil. But uh, this thing is an inline six. It holds seven quarts of oil. So that thing's going to sit and drain for a while. Go inside, it's going to sit and drain for a little while. Go inside, you know, make something to eat or whatever. Chill out in the AC, whatever you do. I don't care if you're watching porn. Whatever gets you through the day. But uh, I use a uh, full synthetic. The manufacturer costs a 5W30. I use uh, the cheapest oil, honestly, as long as it's full synthetic. Oh, it's old, man. Like, it kind of is what it is. And with these older cars, you know, it, it don't really make a big difference. I feel like a full synthetic does make a big difference as far as uh, inside your motor, but, you know, that's just my belief. But anyway. So, to get to the oil filter on this sucker, I bought this little silly contraption. It works really good. You can get it at Walmart. Uh, that's about the best thing I've ever found that works on these uh, oil filters. I mean, you can get a wrench and stuff, or a pair of big pliers and stuff and go in there but uh it's it's a problem i'm telling you this thing works really good because the oil filter is right up top and uh what i've done was use gray tape right here put gray tape around it and then just peel it off and it makes it kind of where it's kind of sticky and it, uh, it holds up really good to a uh if your oil filter was leaking a little bit or if it was a little slick you know that right there makes it grip a little better to where you can just get it and turn it but uh Without further ado, let's get to it. Right, well, we're about done dripping here, so when you put this bolt back in, you want to get it and get it pretty snug, but do not tighten this thing up to where you're going to sit and strip it. You got to think this whole motor and everything's aluminum, so don't put the old steroid jerk on it. Just get it pretty good and snug, and that's all you need, man. I'm telling you, that's it. Just make love to it. All right, so I use that contraption. I put two longer extensions together. With this little piece right here so it works out pretty good uh, that's about all you'll need to get in there and i'll show you exactly where the filter is right here right here is where you change the oil if you go up in this area right here you'll see the bottom of the filter right there that's what you need all right so when you take this filter off take it off about halfway and then sit and let it drip a little bit into it if not you're going to get it all over you and then when it's done dripping a little bit, you can go ahead and take it the rest of the way off. When you get the filter off, make sure the seal right here came off with it. And check it for the new filter, you know. Make sure it all checks out and it's all the same size and everything. And before you put this filter back on, since it's going up top, and it's not going to the side, you can actually fill it up about halfway, maybe three quarters. You can uh, pull, put oil in this filter so it's not pumping dry. But before you get started, you need to dip your, uh, dip your finger in the old oil. And rub a little bit around the seal so we can do that real fast mm, make love to it there show it show the seal right here a little bit of love 
start it with the old one and then when you um, just rub it around there a little bit just enough to make a good seal and then when you put the when you pour some of the new oil into this filter before you put it on you know I'm sure some will leak on the side and you, you can get it and rub it around the seal also all right, now we got a little bit of oil and stuff around now remember when you put this filter on don't act like it's your old lady and beat the hell out of it you need to get it on real easy and do it pretty good hand tight just as snug as you can get it with your hand that's plenty so you don't need to put the old porno steroid jerk on it because you're going to mess the seal up when you go to put oil in this thing it takes seven quarts i use two of these the big boys they hold a uh, five gallon or five quarts of oil uh, this is an inline six you know so it's a little different than most cars you can go ahead and dump one of these jugs into it completely but on the next you know when you got to fill up for the next two you need to make sure that your car is completely level because these end lines the way they work if they're not completely level when you're filling the oil up you're not going to get accurate readings at all but if you are working a little bit on an angle on these cars which i got mine's a little bit at an angle fill the oil up to about maybe halfway on the dipstick and then go down to and find the most level part you can find and get it off your ramps and stuff like that and then let it run for a little bit you know to fill the filter up and then check it again and do it that way because they like i said these end lines have to be almost completely level to get accurate reading all right now down here since we're level sit there and let this thing run for a minute let it get up the temp you know let it run for a good i don't know five ten minutes uh, you might want to drive it around the block for a minute and then uh come back and check it you know if you're around halfway on your dipstick you know you're, you're pretty good to do that with but uh definitely before you take off make sure it's level and check it like that but uh you, you won't know until it fills everything up and fills the filter up and all that stuff and then try than that oh this has been another life lesson with the redneck warrior reverend redneck warrior thank you all right one little piece of advice i forgot to give um uh, if you turn your car on and you notice that this uh you get through and you get your stuff and you see you get into your electronics this is orange and off 43 percent if you turn your car ignition to where to where it comes on but don't start you know accessories and you pump the gas three times one two three it'll reset go back to 100 100 percent there you go just like that thank you you have been blessed